Another AI chatbot had been produced by Dragonfly, which is called the Dragonfly chatbot. It is very interesting and the very best part of it is that it behaves just like the chat GPT and it gives also a lot of details about your prompt. As you prompt it, it's going to give you quite a lot, a lot of details and answer your question correctly. And another most interesting part of it is that it is up to date. It has up-to-date information it is equipped with up-to-date information because the very first prompt i gave to it to confirm that it is up-to-date is that i ask it what is the current weather condition in zaria nigeria and it said the current weather condition in zaria nigeria is mostly sunny with a temperature of 27 degrees celsius about 81 degrees fahrenheit there's no precipitation and the wind is blowing at a speed of three kilometers per hour and this is far perfectly correct so this is correct which means it has the latest information about what is happening around the world so that is all like chat gpt it has an edge over chat gpt because this is dragonfly i asked it more about itself and it quickly told me that i'm an ai assistant my goal is to help you with tasks that you need assistance with i can provide information on a variety of topics and i'm always up to date with the latest information available. I'm respectful, polite, and inclusive, and I always tell the truth. I will not provide advice on self-harm, adult content, and illegal activities, politics, specific financial advice, product recommendations, or celebrities. So it's very specific when it comes to this. It says directly what is asked to answer and nothing more, okay? So if there's a prompt, there's, there's a disclaimer here that this board, uh, gives shorter responses but may also give more inaccurate statements and refuse to answer more questions okay it does not have knowledge of events after 2021 so this is another disclaimer that comes in it doesn't have more information after 2021 but then it is giving me the latest information that's happening around the world so what about this disclaimer is this a mistake or what so i don't know i'm not sure now I went on to to confirm that yeah tr truly that it has some limitation in its responses in what it is answering. I ask it to give me the image of Zidane, okay? To give me the image of Zidane, and it said I cannot provide images of celebrities. However, I can provide you information about Zidane. Zidane is a former French football player who is widely regarded as one of the most one of the greatest players of all time and he's currently the manager of Real Madrid. And from what I can say, to the best of my knowledge, Zidane is no more the manager of Real Madrid. He left Real Madrid a very long time ago. Not too long, but I think about two or three years ago. So this shows that this chatbot is not really up to date. Okay, it's not really up to date. But then we can prompt it for that to find out if it's really, really, truly up to date or not. Now, Chelsea played Real Madrid last week. Is it last week? Yeah. So let's find out what is what was the score if it is really up to date. In the last Champions League match, Real Madrid played with Chelsea. What was the scores? So if it is really, really up to date, it's just going to give me the scores. So let's see what was the scores in that last match. In the last Champions League, it was 2-0. Real Madrid won 2-0. The goals were scored by Eden Hazard in the 57th minute and Karim Benzema in the 79th minute. Ladies and gentlemen, I am testifying that this chatbot is truly up to date. Yeah, because this information is exceptionally correct. It was 2-0 and it was the goals were scored by Hazard and Karim Benzema at this minute. It is super perfect. But well, then why does it say Real Madrid? um is being managed by zidane let's prompt it to ask more questions and see if it is really really if it was a sp slip of tongue or if it really a mistake or if it really thinks that zidane is still the the coach of real madrid so let's prompt it properly and say is zidane the current coach of real madrid let's see Aye, zidane is currently the manager of real madrid he has been in charge since 2019 and my dear friends zidane is not the manager of real madrid we can confirm this by going to other chatbots like uh, bing ai let's ask bing ai because the current manager of real madrid is ancelotti let's see if it is uh, let's ask bing ai which is currently confirmed to be up to date who is the current manager of real madrid and this is not a difficult question 
I don't know why Dragonfly got it wrong. Now let's see from Bing AI, which is confirmed to be up to date. Current manager of Real Madrid. Okay, Carlo Ancelotti is the current manager of Real Madrid. In his second spell at the club, he signed a contract in uh, that will keep him at the club for the next three seasons, accompanied by club president for, uh, for Antonio Perez. You see, this is correct. This is why I said the other chatbot is really wrong. So Dragonfly got it wrong. The uh, current manager of Real Madrid is not Zinedine Zidane. So this is uh, a shortcoming on its own side. So that means it gives in a wrong answer. So now let's say I, I ask it more questions. I prompt it more to tell me more about more information about itself. Uh, and it said I was created by Dragonfly AI, a company that specializes in artificial intelligence and machine learning. They are dedicated to creating intelligent, reliable, and secure AI solutions for businesses and consumers. So this is this is very very good, and I I, I like what I learned about it and the information I got about it. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, what we can say is that to some degree of extent, you can use Dragonfly to carry out some of your research, some of your prompts and get them your questions answered. But then the degree of accuracy actually have to be, you have to be very skeptical about the, the answers you're going to get. Even though it's up to date in some information, it's not up to date in others, okay? So maybe as it is going undergoing some training within months, weeks, it might get some of these informations correctly. So we maybe we can prompt it further to ask for some other some other questions maybe can you let's see how good is it with coding can you so i just ask it quickly can you give me a python code that can you that can, i can use to solve quadratic equation and let's see if you can write that code for me so you can see it said i cannot uh, provide specific code but i can provide you with an al algorithm to solve a quadratic equation the algorithm is as follows input this calculate this and then calculate the roots of the equation and output the, res the, the results. So this is, um, maybe we can trick it further and see if you can give us what we are looking for. So let's say we prompt it with this. Can you give me a sample quadratic equation Python code? So I can just prompt it and let's see if it's going to be, uh, if it's going to give us something, something related to that. I cannot provide, now, now look at, uh, we've just tricked it a little bit. Um, now we can see it got it got us to what we want. So most of these chatbots actually you can dribble them to give you what you want if you know how to prompt it the, uh, correctly. So you can see now it says I cannot provide specific code, but I can uh, provide you with a sample Python code to solve a quadratic equation. This code is as follows, and you can see the code is exceptionally correct because it's this same code that we're given by uh, Sage. Uh, AI that we have, uh, we've done, we've run recently. I've made a video complete tutorial about how to use it and how to even log into Poi to have access to it. Okay, so this code is correct and you can copy it and just go ahead and sell and send it or, um, and paste it in your Python uh, program. And it's going to sort around this once you specify these variables, this ABC, you'll be able to have uh, your program working perfectly. Now let's test it when it comes to simple basic mathematics and see if we can really solve some math, simple math problems and see if we can get some, get it to solve some simple mathematic problems. I choose a number and divide it by five. Then I subtract 154 from the results and I got six. What was the number I chose? Now let's see if it's going to answer this very simple question. Uh, let's see, it's aptitude in mathematics. So let's prompt it with this question. All right, the number you choose is 770. That was fast. And let's see whether it is correct or not. by just coming back and say, what is it? And you can see now the, the answer is 800. So I think it was fast, but you got the answer wrongly. Yeah. So what is now, what can we do? Let's try to prompt other chatbots and see if it's going to give, uh, if it's going to get us the same answer. For example, let's try chat GPT with the same prompt. Okay. So let's say we give this, uh, this, this prompt and let's see, I choose a number and what's the answer. So now it's going detail step by step, step by step. And then let's see what is going to get as its answer. So Okay, the answer is 800, and this is exceptionally correct. So that means our dragonfly is erroneous, or it's not so good with mathematics because it was too fast and it got 770. Let's try the same question to search 
and see if it's going to give us the same answer so sage can you solve this and see how fast we can we can get it to solve i think it's following nearly the same process with and it got the answer correctly as well the answer is 800 so that means our own dragonfly you need to tread with care let's see if we can ask the same question to Bing ai and let's see if it's going to give us similar answer or something close and then i know that Bing ai is of course going to give us a correct answer because it's more advanced by than uh, most of them okay so let's see all right all right and it's, it got it correctly the answer is 800 and this is fantastic so this is drawdown on the side of dragonfly which is showcasing that it's up to the mathematics it's not so strong so let's say we give it one more prompt one more question and let's see if it's going to get it get it right this time around a student choose a number multiply it by two then subtract 138 from the results and got 102 what was the number he chooses let's select this and prompt it with this question and let's see if it's going to give us so this is sage no yeah let's try dragonfly and let's see if it's going to give us the answer to this I hope it's not going to be too fast the answer is he chooses his 84 and this that was too fast but then let's confirm from chat gpt okay so pass the same question and let's see what is going to give us let's call the but why is um dragonfly too fast to give us the answer the answer is 120 and i think this answer is correct but then let's check the original solution and see if the answer is 120 truly the answer is 120 so chat gpt was right but then our dragonfly is wrong this time around it said 120 it said 84 instead of 120 which is very very bad and i think i'm beginning to have some doubt about its mathematical aptitude and what it can do let's say we understood this and this is a mistake this is um, part of its shortcomings maybe as time goes on it undergoes more trainings it's going to have um, better performance and aptitude as regards mathematics so let's go in to solve to answer some more simple questions simpler questions can you give me five youtube ideas about motivation niche okay so let's say if you can give us five youtube ideas about motivation needs i cannot provide specific product recommendations but i can provide you with some ideas for youtube videos related to motivation how to stay motivated uh, how to set and achieve goals how to, um, tips for staying positive i think this is correct it got it right so i can prompt it further to say can you can you give me content on topic number five let's see if you can give me content on topic number five i can provide you with content on topic number five which is some tips of motivated when feeling overwhelmed take a break prioritize break it down you can see i can say give give me more details okay you can say when feeling overwhelmed this is this is, this is this is now it's giving me more details so that means it is responding properly but it's virtually gives in shorter answer when compared to other chatbots like chat gpt or sage or even bing ai it is giving much shorter answers okay so this is just to uh, let you know that there's an, another sheriff in town that is good with text it can give you text but it cannot give you images so take note of that in cases if you have any issues you want to delete anything or you want to copy any section of the prompt or his response you can come over here you can like and dislike you can copy you can share you can delete a particular response or they about you can do that also from here so it's a very cool feature it's a very cool chatbot that has just been recently introduced you can go ahead and try it and see for free here no lagging no any error with uh, when you try it on poi okay all you need to have access to it is just to go to poi.com and then just sign up and create an account and you'll have access to all these uh, chatbots from sage to gpt to cloud plus to cloud instance to chat gpt you can have access to all of them and you can go ahead and give uh, them a try and see how you can actually use them so i hope you enjoyed this video please go ahead and try your creativity and see how and what and what how you can prompt it and make use of it the best way but i think using it on poi can give you the best advantage because it's actually very fast here and no no any kind of hiccup no any kind of delay and it's effective and can give you very very fantastic responses so the last thing i want to ask or i want to test as regards this dragonfly is to test whether it is multilingual whether it can help us to translate this content for example uh, to chinese let's say can you translate this content
so then we paste the content and let's see if it can actually translate this to chinese and you can see it is really translating it to chinese which is a good thing uh, on on the side of it so uh, the chinese guys in the house maybe you can confirm if this is actually a true translation or not because we have some skeptics about using this very chatbot to answer our prompts so i hope you enjoyed this video just the introduction of dragonfly a chatbot uh, if you find any useful information or anything beneficial to you please remember to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to always hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more and more videos like this so i'll see you in my next video thank you and goodbye